here at Acton, we would like to thank you for taking your time to review this DVD driver's guide to better aid you on how to utilize the new P6000 backup sensor system on your tractor trailer. Combined with utilizing your driver safety training, the P6000 reverse sensor system will better provide you with the tools needed to avoid most major accidents while in reverse. Many of you may not be aware that the P6000 is a breakthrough in fleet safety technology. From the company that first brought you the parking sensors to your passenger car, Acton has taken the steps necessary to provide the same safety to the heavy duty trucking industry. The P6000 series is the first product to be introduced to help aid tractor trailers and other non-married specialty vehicles in backing up. The significance of the product is that it's transmitted using its own FCC approved wireless frequency. This dedicated frequency enables the display in your cab to communicate with the sensor system directly with the trailer behind you, with no limitation on the amount of trailers it can communicate with. Keep in mind, for your safety, no single display can communicate with multiple trailers or crosstalk with another P6000 sensor system. We'll go through the necessary steps on how to operate the system and how to sync the system when docking with the new trailer. But first, we'd like to briefly introduce you to the technology and go over what's currently installed on your vehicle. The P6000 technology currently uses high-grade new generation ultrasonic technology to send 30-foot ultrasonic waves behind the truck. By using all digital chipsets, high-grade transducers, and filtering software, the P6000 will triangulate the closest object behind the vehicle and send the information wirelessly to the driver's display. Each sensor contains a memory and filtering chip to avoid relaying objects such as ground, rain, sleet, snow, and dirt as false obstacles to the driver. The P6000 sensor system and cab display should already be installed on your vehicle. Although the installation is of no concern to you, being aware of what's installed in your vehicle is actually important. First, the sensors you will notice four aluminum alloy sensors located on the rear of the trailer body. These sensors will send out the ultrasonic waves to detect what's located up to 30 feet beyond the trailer's body. The four sensors are connected with aluminum and steel case brain that contains a central processing motherboard unit which gathers information from the sensors and translates it into readable information for the driver. However, before translated information is sent to the driver, it needs to be sent wirelessly through the wireless transmitter. The wireless transmitter is encased in aluminum and has a 2.5 inch antenna sticking out to transmit the signal to the driver's display located in the cab. Located on the dash of the vehicle is the driver's display. This display has a 1.5 inch long antenna which receives the signal from the wireless transmitter. The display is only powered on when your vehicle is in reverse and will give the driver the distance and location of oncoming obstacles. Now that you have a brief idea about the technology of the product and what comes installed, we're going to move into the operations of the product itself. First, remember to sync your display with the trailer's sensors. Syncing the system is actually much easier than you might expect. After you dock your trailer and plug in the 7-way, simply put the vehicle in reverse gear. While in reverse, the system on the trailer is powered up and ready to sync. Press the button on the top right corner of the display until you see the antenna bars light up on the LED display. Once the antenna bars are lit, you have successfully paired the entire system. Remember, the system can only be paired with one trailer at a time. So once you're synced, your display won't be able to crosstalk with another trailer in reverse. Before you begin to reverse, don't forget to check your mirrors and use your existing safety precautions when backing up. The sensor system is an aid and is there to assist you when you need it most. Keep in mind, for the system to relay accurate distances, you must be driving 7 miles per hour or less while reversing. Once you start reversing, be sure to glance at the display and listen for an audible tone as objects approach. Notice as you approach a large, solid object like a passenger car, wall, or dumpster, 
the system will begin to count down from around 25 to 30 feet. As you approach the obstacle, you'll start noticing the numbers getting lower, representing the distance you're away from the approaching object. Only when you get under 10 feet does the system give an audible tone and switch to feet and inches. This gives you both an audible tone and visual distance reading you are away from the approaching object. Keep in mind, depending on the size of the object, the initial distance readings will vary from 20 to 30 feet. Smaller, more round objects such as small parking poles, cables, animals, and humans will generally start reading at around 12 to 20 feet on the display. Again, the system will begin to count down as the object approaches the vehicle with an audible tone sounding as you become within 10 feet of the object. Just for review, I'd like to go over the key points on the syncing and operation of the P6000 sensor system. The driver must first remember to use his existing safety training regardless if the vehicle has a sensor system or not. Next, the driver must remember for the distance readings to be accurate, he must reverse under 8 miles per hour. He will notice that the display will begin reading larger objects at around 25 to 30 feet, and smaller objects may be picked up anywhere between 12 and 20 feet. An audible tone will sound when the driver is within 10 feet of an approaching object, and a solid tone will occur when the driver is within 2 feet of an object. Now that you are aware of how the operation of the P6000 sensor system works, more questions about the limitation of the product may arise. We ask that you look over your driver's guide that should be available in a specified location in your vehicle, or may be obtained at your local office. We ask that you please use the system as a tool to aid you with your already extensive safety knowledge. If you notice a system malfunction, please report it immediately to the shop manager to be evaluated and replaced. Thank you for sitting through this short training video.